That's all good. All right, so Vincent, man, this is how God created the world perfect. You ever heard the story of Adam and Eve? Uh-huh. All right, you remember what happened? It messed everything up. Hey, from the tree, uh, unforbidden fruit. There you go. So you see this word right here? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Sin, right? Uh -huh. You see what's in the middle of sin? All right. All right, a good definition of sin is when I do what I want to do instead of what? No. Yeah. That's why our world is like this. Messed up. It's broken. That makes sense? Yeah. So you got school shooters, sex and transmitted diseases. We got robbery, thieving, adultery. So here's a, the, the, uh, the blames test. B-L-A-M-E-S. All right. You know what the word, you, you ever heard of blasphemy? Mm -hmm. All right, that's a used guy's name to express anger. You ever say, I'm mean, I put that on God or anything like that? No, I've done that a couple of times. All right, so I'm gonna put two checks. Have I told a lie? Plenty. Two checks. Have you ever uh, looked at someone with lust? That means adultery. A stands for adultery. Yeah. All right, sex out of marriage, something like that. All right, me too. Uh, M stands for murder. Now, here's what's funny about this one. Have you ever been angry with somebody you almost felt like in your mind you could hurt yeah. them real, real bad? Yeah. The Bible says that's murder because all murder starts in the what? Heart. In the heart and mind. And then it works itself out. E stands for exalt. That means to like put other things before God. Yes. Uh, have you ever went a whole day, never prayed, never read the Bible, just never went to church? Just yes. yeah. weeks. Weeks, right? So what else did you put before God? It's all like, kinds of stuff. Everything. <laughs> So you're not idolater. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. All right. So man, you just like I am. So by your own admission, you're a blasphemer, a liar, an adulterer, a murderer, an idolater, and a thief. And one day you're gonna face this holy, righteous God. And if He's good, if let's just say you could pay Him off, if you could pay God off, and let you, He let you in, what kind of judge would He be? A bad one. He'll be a bad judge. So if He gave you the punishment, what kind of judge would He be? Uh, uh, you know, a good judge. Yeah. So, what is the punishment for our sin? You have any idea? No. Watch this. It only makes sense. Like, if you hit a police officer, what consequence comes back to you? Prison. Well, you know. Yep. If you hit the president of the United States, what consequence comes back to you? Probably death. All right. If you hit a, 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 a eternal God with this sin, what kind of consequence come back to you? Same thing. Eternal death. Hell, makes sense. Yeah. All right. So you're probably thinking, like I'm thinking, you're gonna try to try to escape this kind of stuff. I'm gonna use it to four R's. You may you may do what I did, run to relationships. Man, but you know broken people can't fix broken people. I don't care. I'm like, you, you can try to fit in, but at some point. You right. You know what I'm saying? Another thing people chase is this. It's like a bungee cord. But what happens, man? You may make that money, you may lose it, you may get fired, somebody may steal it. You never have enough. So it leaves you what? Broken again. Other thing people run to is runs. This can be weed. It's like a bungee cord. You'll put a bungee cord around your waist, mm -hmm. you take off running feel good for a minute but what happens after eventually it comes back in broken weed marijuana sex drugs drinking parties it's it may what happened when the high come down you right back what uh -huh. broken again feel like hell the last thing people use is religion they may go to church they may pray they may be baptized speaking tongues but what happens monday through saturday Club. man there ain't no difference you still messed up it's only one thing that actually really will fix you, man. That this is what happened to me 18 years ago on college campus. The Bible says that 2,000 years ago that Jesus loved you so much that he came, he knew you were not going to be able to keep these standards. Uh -huh. So instead, he sent his son to die in your place. So he paid the debt you owe. You broke the law. The Bible says Jesus came and paid the fine. So if you would do two things, the only R that really works is true repentance, that you're so sorry for what you did against God you do deserve God's wrath, but if you would if you would follow Jesus and repent and follow Jesus and beg for mercy for God to save you, He will show you mercy. So He takes you from being a complete sinner on your way to hell to a person that's completely blameless because you chose to give your life up to follow Him. So at the time, you're probably a good dude. You've been a man that gets up in a plane ten thousand feet in the air, and me, I say, man, Vince, you got to jump, and I say, man, flap your arms and think you're a bird. What's the result gonna be in the end? Fall. You're not gonna make it. Just like you thinking you can get to heaven. If you think you can get to heaven for any other reason, nobody can make it. We ain't good enough. That's why God sent Jesus. It's like a man that gets up a plane 10,000 feet in there, and I say, Vincent, you got to jump. But don't try to flap your arms. Put on the parachute. Mm -hmm. The parachute is Jesus. 
he takes you eight miles to the ground instead of a hundred miles to the ground, which you try to flap your arms. Right. Jesus paid the debt for you. To, and if you just accept what he's done for you on the cross, the Bible says on the day of judgment, God sees you as he sees his son, even though you're still a sinner. It changed your whole life, the way you think, the direction you're going, the desires you have. That's what you need. <laughs> that's the only hope you got, man. Thanks, sir. What you thinking right now? I never had nobody to... Break it down like that? Yeah. Me either, man. All right. Red light, yellow light, green light. Red light says, man, I'm, I appreciate the time, but I'm not really ready to follow Jesus. Yellow light says, I need to think about this for a little bit and maybe investigate what you're saying. Green light says, I need to repent right now and trust in, in Jesus. What would you say yet? Red, red light. You about, you about red light? You're not ready to follow him right now? No, I mean... Red light basically says, I'm not really ready to follow him. Okay. What yellow, the yellow light says, I think I need to think about this for a while and so I may consider it, it following. It be green light then. You serious? All right. Just see right here where you sit at, all you got to do is tell God, like, God, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, to what it means to follow you, but right now I know a, a, this much. Take me from there, and I, I repent for what I've done, and I choose to follow you. Just pray right now, and just tell him what you think. And he'll save you right where he's standing at. That's kind of hard. I don't know how to, I ain't, really, right. I ain't used to praying. All right, I'll tell you this. I, if you will repeat after me and just tell God, like, God. This is what I do. You understand what I just showed you? Yeah, I fully understand right. things. All right, give, just give it back to me real quick so I can truly understand. I didn't okay. understand what you. It might not be exactly how you broke okay. it down. That's okay. This is the perfect world. Yep. This is our world. Yep. This is this is sin. Sin came into the world. Eyes in the middle of sin. Yep. There you go. Then you broke down blame. Yep. You told me what, what blame me. Yep. Blasphemy, lying, adultery, murder. We all. We all, did, we all did all of them, not yep. half of them. Right. And that that's pretty much, you know. We all deserve. Hell. Because God is a good. A good God. Yeah. He's, he's, he's not one of the guys that you can just, you know, pay <laughs> off. Yeah. He, you know, mm -hmm. there's only one way to get into to heaven. Okay. So, what she basically said is, disappear is, is all the things that people try to replace. Yep. You know, to right. try to. Replace this with, yep. try to say, try to make them feel good. There you go. But at the end of the day, no matter how many times you do this or yep. how much you do, you still end up right back here. Absolutely. Depressed, hopeless, frustrated. Yep. And mm -hmm. then most of the people you said run into, you know, run into relationships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Try to help them. Yep. But like you said up here, God sent down his only son. Yep. To die for us to help pay off our debt That's that right. we, you know, that we already we accumulate. Yep. Mm hmm he said, but the only way to actually get here to the place that everybody wants to go yep. is to repent. Yep. You know, and um, mm -hmm. like I said, I, I totally understand everything that you yeah, said. That's good. You got it. I just never heard anybody break it down like that. Yeah. Like, the only way the pastor talks to me, uh -huh. but not just me, like uh -huh. the whole church. Yeah. He talked, because I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't one type of person to lie to nobody. Mm hmm. I know the Bible only from what I've heard. Right. Like, Pastor, I never just sat down and just... Looked at it for yourself. I never, you know, never done yeah. it like that. So, you know. Yeah, this is a good start. If you can understand this, you can understand the whole... You can you can begin to understand all the whole message of the whole Bible. This is the whole entire message in the Bible in one nutshell. If you can get this, you can begin to understand all the things that the Bible is trying to teach you about. So I'll bring you back a Bible up here, mm -hmm. and I'll get your number and stuff like that. And, I, and I'll teach you what it looks like to follow Jesus. And I I'll, I'll, I'll may send you a text. All right, and then uh, I, I want to hook you up with a, a, a church that kind of teaches like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but just if you really mean this, I, just repeat after me. Just tell, like, this is be your words, mm -hmm. but you just repeat after me. Is that cool? What's that? All right. Uh, so, Father. So, Father. I recognized. I recognized. That through this illustration. That through this illustration. That I'm a sinner. That I'm a sinner. I pray right now. I pray right now. That you will forgive me. You will forgive me. For following after my own ways. For following after my own ways. I recognize. I recognize that you sent Jesus. That you sent Jesus to pay the debt for my sin. To pay the debt for my sins. And I choose from this day forward. And I choose from this day forward to follow you. To follow you. And give up my own life. And give up my own life to truly put my trust in you. To truly put my trust in you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. And I dedicate my life to you. And I dedicate my life to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How you feeling? Anybody take a picture of this? Absolutely. Take a picture of it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I want to show my wife, that's all. Okay, you want to show? Okay, all right. And you can explain it. Since you know the gospel already, you can go and explain it to her. She probably already seen it before because yep. she was raised in the church home. Okay. 
right. That's that's one of the things. Like not to huh? get personal. That's, no, one, no, that's, that's one of the things that you might even cut that. I cut that off.